Today's tutorial shows you how to print CDs and DVDs using Canon all-in-one multifunction printers. These units come with an auxiliary tray that you can insert into the front of the printer to print nice looking labels like this one. To start out, open your Canon EasyPrint DX software and click on disc label or case covers and here you will see a number of different templates that you can use to print uh, including full size discs in two sizes as well as the miniature size uh, DVD and CD discs you can pick whichever one is appropriate and then down the left hand column there are a number of different styles you can choose from to print your labels with convenient templates including different backgrounds with different colors and so on I generally prefer to use my own image which you can do if you click on the uh, background button at the bottom uh, here are some of the different formats you can use I usually just use a relatively simple one and then you click on background and again there are a few different templates to choose from but we're just going to go ahead and use one of our own files here which I think is a lot more interesting so we have some images here in this case I'm going to select a photo I took of Los Angeles since that's the subject of this particular disc and you can see it imports the picture and gives it a nice circular cutout which makes it very convenient saving you a lot of time just make sure you pick a blank background here otherwise you won't actually see the image and then once you have that you can go ahead and edit your text by just clicking on it I usually prefer to make the text white and to give it either uh, an outline or a drop shadow and in the case of the text at the top I usually like to give it an arch so there's the option for that uh, some people have had difficulty finding how to adjust that and typically you'll want to make the font a little bit bigger uh, 18 point isn't very big when you're printing on a disc label and then make sure to enlarge the text box a little bit so nothing is cut off uh, that's an important tip there and then you can add some subtext at the bottom and again usually I like to add an outline and or a drop shadow because it makes it a lot easier to read depending on the color of the background increase the font size a little bit and once you have everything adjusted and make sure it's centered so it looks good uh, if you want to add a little extra text you can click that button and add an additional text box so in this case we'll put in the date so we know what the date is just type it right in there and this one we're not going to arch we're going to leave it straight and again center it so everything looks good and there are some adjustment marks so you can actually get it quite close and you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to fine-tune things and then when you're ready to print go ahead and press the print button and by the way do this before you do anything else do not try to insert the disk too soon because the printer will not like that it will spit out the disk and make you start over again so do your complete design and then when the design is complete and you can preview it here make sure everything looks good and then press print and once you do that then the printer will allow you to insert the disk tray and go ahead and print the label so we'll click print here and you can see in a moment it will give us some instructions and this uh, shows you how to insert the disc and once it's in there you can either push the OK button on the top or click print on the computer screen so you open the front of the printer and then underneath there's a secret little hidden compartment here you open this up this is normally the place where your finished prints come out but in this case we're going to insert our disk tray into this little compartment here the one with the little white arrow at the bottom there and you use this disk tray which you probably got with your printer if you're wondering what this little ring is for on the inside this is for the mini disk so we're going to use a full size DVD disc so we're not going to need this little ring here this is an adapter ring for the small size so we're going to go ahead and set that aside 
And then you grab your um, blank disc, and I happen to like the verbatims with the shiny surface, but you can use whichever brand of media you prefer. Get your blank disc here and just snap that in and make sure it's in nice and tight so it doesn't slip out. And then you go back to the printer and again as I said you open the little secret compartment in the bottom where your finished prints normally emerge. And take the tray and just gently lay it into the opening there. You don't have to push anything in. Slide it in so the two little white arrows just line up, just like that. And that's it. Now you either push the OK button or click Print. And at that point, the printer will automatically suck in the disk and begin the print process. It goes back and forth a couple of times to make sure there aren't any jams and that everything is lined up. And once everything is good to go, it will go all the way in to the print head and begin the print process. So it's still aligning, and there it goes. It goes all the way in, and now it's starting to print. You can hear the uh, print head moving back and forth, and it's relatively speedy. If you're used to using something like um, your CD-ROM drives, um, laser printing mechanism, you'll notice it takes quite a long time to print, but this takes only a minute or so to print out the disc. So it's relatively speedy and prints in color. It has much better contrast than LightScribe does. So you get a very nice professional looking label here that comes out in only about a minute. So you remove the tray carefully and we will now have a look at our finished product. And there you go. Nice neat label in full color with good text and nice graphics in the background.